What is going on, everybody? So I picked up this ASRock 6600 non-XT GPU from Newegg for about $340. And this video is honestly going to be on getting the best bang for your buck. So you can see we're in HiveOS. Um, I am uh, just running it off the motherboard. And you can see we're about 20 watts at the wall with just the motherboard plugged in. So what I want to get is an accurate reading on what this GPU is going to be running. So you can see it's an ASRock 6600 non-XT. Again, I picked it up at Newegg uh, for about $340. And if you haven't noticed, GPU prices are going down. Uh, we're going to connect this to the riser. And from the riser, I'm just going to go right into the motherboard. And we're going to start doing some hash rates on it. Um, ideally, I'm just going to run it off Ethereum with Ethereum proof of stake coming up. Um, I want to see exactly how long is it going to take for me to get to a break-even point on this. Um, again, a very low-cost card. Uh, ran me about 300 and I think I picked it up for 342 And I think it was about $380 when it was all said and done with taxes. But a very inexpensive card. Um, more importantly, though, the efficiency behind it is what I'm really, really looking at. So let's jump on in and check it in HiveOS. Alrighty, so let's log in over here to the test bench and uh, jump over here to the Thanos rig. We could see what we're doing right now. Um, we are actually connected here, right? Uh, 6600, it is on Ethereum and uh, we're doing about 26 and a half mega hash, around 53 watts and we'll go over to the garage here and get a reading out on the, um, on the um, actual wall. Uh, we're going to log in here to the miner just to see what the miner is showing us. <clears throat> and you can see right here about 25.6. We're seeing about 26.7 now. So 26.7. And uh, we're going to get it at the wall. So we saw that without the GPU, we were running about right around 20 watts. So let's jump over there and get a reading on what this is actually showing at the wall. Okay, so we're back in the garage and at the wall here on Hive OS, you'll see here we are getting right around that 90, 93 watts at the wall. Okay, so we saw that we were getting just over 90 watts at the wall, uh, minus the 20 watts for the actual motherboard. So we're seeing about 70 watts. So what we're seeing in Hive OS is about 20 watts difference, right? Um, what I do want to do though is throw in some overclock settings here and what um, just some some of the things that I've been playing around with these are pretty standard settings here so I'm gonna come in here we're gonna throw in 900 at the core we are going to do 620 volts 620 memory um, I'm gonna throw in 950 on the memory clock and then 950 on the memory voltage and we're gonna go hit apply let this uh, go in there. Um, I'm not touching the fan speed. I've got it on auto fan here. And uh, we're going to see what we can do here um, with these overclocks. And typically what I've been running is about, I've uh, been seeing about, um, we'd say anywhere between 28.9 and like 29.5 mega hash. Um, but what really is, uh, I think, in uh, something that I've really really started to notice is just the efficiency on this card um, while this is uh, and here we're gonna log back in we just restarted the miner while this is tuning and actually here while this is tuning we are going to do this um, I'll kind of give you an idea if you haven't really been paying attention um, GPU prices have really started to drop and uh, I actually picked this up on uh, Newegg for 300 and actually it was a little cheaper it's 349 when I when I picked it up 349 with free shipping and um okay you know i i think that's just phenomenal um you know and we'll we'll kind of go back into it but um new egg best buy best buy i picked up a 3070 ti uh, for 749 dollars and um three four months ago you were paying 12 thirteen hundred dollars for a 3070 ti if you got it on a best buy drop you were paying right around the thousand eleven hundred mark so we're starting to see these on sale um, and just doing, like I said, I mean, this was, I paid 349, I think with taxes and everything, it was like 382. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, just come over here and we can do a quick little search of graphics cards. And in my opinion, um, you know, if I'm going to be buying any more cards at this point, other than, you know, to build out a gaming computer, it's going to be the 6600s, the 6600 XTs. You know, and here, here you go. I mean, you're starting to see, and these aren't the greatest. Um, you know, I mean, you're you're only seeing about nine hundred fourteen dollars for this thirty seventy Ti, but some of these you're really starting to see some big drops. And um, like I said, on Newegg, um, I've been noticing it. But uh, I mean, even like a sixty seven hundred is going for five ninety nine now. <clears throat> Uh, you're seeing a 3060 for 489. These are definitely dropping, um, and I'm happy with it. I mean, all the uh, pretty much you can get a 6600 now for right around 400 bucks, and you're seeing a 6600 XT in the mid 400s. So Newegg definitely having them on sale. Um, like I said, Best Buy the same thing, and um, you know I'm pretty happy with it. So you can see here. <clears throat> We've dropped, or actually we're sitting right around uh, 2,900, I'm sorry, 29 mega hash. And you can see right in the minor here, coming out at 28.97. Um, it does fluctuate a little, um, but you know I've seen it 29.10 mega hash. But what I really wanna get into is the, the wattage. And what we'll do is I'll come over and um, we'll get it off the wall here in a second. And just do some, um, we'll figure out what the ROI is gonna be on it and if it's worth it at this point. So we'll be right back. Let's jump in. All right, jumping back into the garage. Here we are at the miner. And at the wall, we are seeing that 82, 83 watts at the wall with those overclocks. All righty, so you saw that we were getting uh, right around 82 watts minus the 20 watts for the board. So we're sitting about 62 watts on that card doing right around 29 mega hash. So jumping in... <clears throat> You know, if we throw this in to what to mine, 29 uh, for our hash rate, our power at 62 watts. Now, I have a little, uh, I have a little leg up on this because I have a whole home solar power system running my entire home, and even with mining, I have a very small uh, fee that I have to pay to my electric company now. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to stay with the 0.1 kilowatt per hour. Um, you know, 0 0.11, 11 cents is actually what my area is, but I actually, because of the system I run, I have a little bit of a surplus every month. So that gets taken up with my mining rigs. So what we're going to do, uh, again, looking at ETH and you can see when we calculate and actually what we're going to do is let's just do the average for the last 24 hours and the average difficulty rate. <clears throat> Okay, so with power, you're looking at making $1.43 a day. And the key here is what is our, uh, let's throw in, hold on, hardware cost. I paid three eighty two dollars uh, with tax. <clears throat> there we go. So you can see that I have a 267-day break-even date which honestly is a really, really good, uh, it's, it's a phenomenal. And uh, realistically, if I just throw without power in my circumstance where I have solar and I am not, uh, I'm not actually utilizing any, um, I mean, my power bill last month for all 36 cards that I'm running uh, was like $106. Um, so you could see um, I have about a 242 day um, break even date, which I'm completely fine with. Once ETH eventually goes proof of stake, I'll be moving most of these cards over to either Ravencoin or Ergo. And uh, and even Firo, they, they supposedly they've been doing pretty decent on Firo. Uh, so these 6600s, I, I went through, did a, a couple of tests on it yesterday when it came in. Um, Ergo, um, Ergo was doing really well with it. Uh, but as of right now, Ethereum is still the most profitable. So making $1.57 a day on that card um, is something that for me is, is still well worth it. And I'll be, um, I'll be trying to get probably one more cause I've got five 6600s, um, on that, um, on that frame that I'll go ahead and add that six card to. And I think I'll just kind of hang out there. We'll see what happens after the merge. 
Um, but yeah, again, hopefully if you're looking for something that has a low buy-in, right? Um, this isn't like you're dropping $1,500 on a card. You're only dropping, in my case, I found it for 342 Yeah, so I found it for uh, 342 It's selling for 360 something right now. A lot of these cards you're starting to see really just drop in price. And, um, you know, if this is something that you want to look to continue and or to start in, um, definitely the lowest investment possible, uh, especially with the unknown ahead, is is the best bet, right? If I was starting out, I'm not going to be dropping 20, 30K in an investment into these cards when I don't know what's on the horizon, even though there was always going to be another coin, right? Flux, no, no one saw Flux a year and a half ago. They just came up on their year anniversary. And Flux, I think, in my opinion, is going to be the next one to take over. You're going to see Ergo really start to appreciate <clears throat> and potentially some of these other cards. So hopefully you liked the video. I'll um, you know drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.